Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. It's honestly crazy to me how the same girls that portray themselves as soft and feminine and dainty and delicate and like pastel and clouds and white heart emoji, it's like, you are the worst person I've ever met in my entire life. You are vile, like you are just terrible. Who are you fooling? It's just crazy. Like every mean girl that I know, they portray this facade of like being soft and feminine. Like you are none of those things. I'm so sorry. Like girl, I've seen you in real life. Okay, you are none of those things. Some of y'all take these TikTok aesthetics way too seriously and you have lost your sense of self and originality and you feel the need to like grasp onto something that is just not you. They didn't lose their self of sense or originality because they didn't have any to begin with. 80% of TikTokers, if not more, they're just copying each other. That's why even the worst trends are sometimes the most successful. And yeah, most of the times what you see online, it's not real. Most of the times what you see on TV, it's not real. Take a look at celebrities. Some of them are even worse than what you see on TikTok. Watching men do the bare minimum is insane. I was at the dollar store today and I was at the checkout and the line was getting quite long and there was a gentleman in front of me and one of the workers walks past and he's like, hey, can you do me a favor? She's like, what's up? And he's like, you see the Valentine's Day cards over there? Can you just go grab me one? And she's like, sure. Do you want it to say anything? And he's like, mm, as long as it's red or pink and it says happy Valentine's Day or something of the sort, I think, I think that covers all the necessary bases. So she went and grabbed him one, just picked a random one, gives it to him. And he's like, perfect. Now I'm all good to go for tomorrow. So put no thought into a card and he is all good to go for tomorrow. So love that. The bare minimum. Couldn't even pick out a card that reminded him of her or couldn't even, he couldn't even pick it out himself. He couldn't even put enough effort to pick it one out for himself. So. Sounds almost like me, but that is not bare minimum. Bare minimum is what I do. I don't get you any card and if you ask for one, I'll say bite me. I will say, however, if he went for a card, he could have picked one himself, but at the same time, I'm sure she didn't get him anything. Ladies, one of the most important skills that you can learn as a woman, emotional intelligence. It will literally change your whole life. Yeah, hold on. Weren't you the ones expecting your man to have emotional intelligence? How are you expecting something from him that you don't even have yourself? I wish somebody warned me about this before I went through my spiritual awakening. But basically, at first, it's going to feel nice. It's going to feel great. You're going to feel connected. But slowly but surely, you're going to stop caring about every single thing in your life that you once cared about a lot. Like all your priorities are going to change. You're going to find it hard to maintain the same relationships. You're going to find it hard to maintain the same career. Everything, your perspective on everything changes. And then as you get really deep into it, it gets really difficult because you start to face like generational traumas and burdens. And that is so painful. And nobody warns you how painful that is. Like it's really difficult to face these things within you it's not cute and it's not fun sure it is not for you but for everyone around you when someone asks what do you mean by that and this following answer comes out uh, 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 no or like uh, li uh, li like oh my god that's so rude i know you've heard that term on tiktok but it doesn't mean what you think it means and not for nothing you're not part of those groups that experience generational trauma I have a hot take for you and I'm ready to ruffle some feathers so get ready to get your feathers ruffled okay I'm scrolling this girl pops up on my for you page and she's like I lost like two inches around my waist in this much time and I'm gonna tell you how I did it and I go to the comment section and the second comment I see is no babe you have 10 to 15 more pounds to lose One, anyone who has anything to say about somebody's body is like, to me, because that is so wrong that it's not even funny.
then I see influencers be like, I understand, like, I post my life online, so it just, like, comes with the territory, and, like, I guess I bring it upon myself. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't have that mindset. Just because you post your life online does not give somebody the ground to stand on to be mean to you. No, it does not. Like, you, just because you post anything, you do not, you should not have to deal with negative comments because you should not have to deal with negative people. Yeah, I'm sure where you live in La La Land, whenever you go tree hugging, the trees are hugging you back. But we don't all live where you live. You don't need to deal with negative comments. Unfortunately, you do. I had to deal with your entire negative video. You started your own video with, you're gonna ruffle some feathers. See, you absolutely hurt all my fifties. And for that reason and that reason alone, not because I'm an a-hole, I'm gonna say this. If you do lose a few Bones, make sure you don't find them again. Sometimes comments can be constructive criticism. Not every comment that you get is a negative comment. So get over your fifties before you ruffle your own feathers. I think the reason that a lot of us are unhappy, um, rightfully so, because the world is literally on fire, uh, is because we have a lot more critical thinking skills than our parents, their parents, whatever. When they were growing up, everything was just, oh, well, that's just how it is. Oh, well, this is just what we do. Um, same with religion. Like a lot of people are straying from religion now because, again, critical thinking skills. They never question anything. They never, when they did have a question and it didn't get answered, they just said, okay, that's just how it is. I love it whenever the most ignorant people are talking about critical thinking skills. May your mother and her mother never question anything? Weren't they the ones marching on the streets for you to have the freedom and the right to go on TikTok today and say something stupid? Going by everything you've said, you have no critical thinking skills. In fact, I'm gonna take it a step further and say you're the most brainwashed generation to ever walk this earth. Your mom and her mom would have never created an OF account. They were raised right by their parents, not by the school system, and they were taught to think for themselves. You've been taught by some generation the study teacher that you can do everything you want and there'll be no consequences you want to prove me right go ask your grandmother to follow kim k or one of the others see what she says i feel like no one talks about how lonely and boring having self-respect is like now i don't have a liar to cuddle with there's no mediocre man that is consuming my mind 24 7 what am i to do with all this time <sighs> anyway Get a job, find a hobby, or at least stop pretending you have any self-respect. They don't sell that at a supermarket so we can get some. I'm sorry, but there is just nowhere better to live than in Miami as a girl in your young 20s. And probably for men of any age if they're rich. Somehow I think those two things are kind of related to each other. I love when guys come over to my apartment and they're like, what is that? And I'm like, what do you mean, what is that? And they're like, what is that? It's a support beam, obviously. But like, I always forget it's here because, you know, it's normal to me because I'm here every day. But then guys come over and they're like, that is not normal. That's quite polished for a support beam. But on a side note, let's face it. You want to be best at your job, you're gonna have to practice. And sometimes work will follow you home. Say hi. Wow. And this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.